So let's start with one of the best things in this custom room, Cyberpunk boot animation. This is not the only one, but you have a lot of boot animation options present in this update. Cyberpunk boot animation I have applied and it's looking just so amazing, including this one. If you use Autos Launcher, which is based on Launcher 3, the customizable launcher, it's quite similar that you are able to use Circle to search. It's not exactly like that, but it's actually good. You can search from any screen and for this, you don't need to use Pixel Launcher. So this is actually so good. Like in Pixel Launcher, you get you can use Circle to search, but Circle to search is not possible without Pixel Launcher. But this is not that bad. You can search from any screen, anywhere. And yes, that's a great alternative to Pixel Launcher. You just, if you are, if you want to use Circle to Search, you can't use Pixel Launcher, then this could be a great choice for you. The battery options has some options for you. Battery section has some options. The power save, the power mode options are present. Like you can choose between power save, performance, game boost. So yes, this could be a very interesting choice. By the way, these things are actually some tweaks which are already applied by default on a device if you install this custom ROM. Of course, some things depends upon which device you are using. The dark theme also has some inbuilt theming options available for you. Like the default one is, of course, the dark one. But you also have the option to choose between the berry black and true amulet dark or basically some pitch black themes sort of things. Moving on to some colors options, you will notice display engine. It's also present there and you can switch between three display engine options here. Reality display engine and of course you can customize your colors on display. Some of you might love this feature, some of you might not, but it's present. So I just wanted to let you know it's present there. I personally use sometimes I use it, sometimes I don't. It depends if I love this thing more or not in some certain conditions, etc. Notifications also have the island notification option present, which was already there. But with this new update, we have some new gestures present with the island notifications. Unfortunately, I can't show you right now. By the way, I personally don't use island notification much, but it's present here. Quick settings panel is finally quite fixed now. And what is fixed in quick settings panel? Because it was already good there, right? I mean, it was good, but it, the layout was not that amazing, personally speaking. But this is the default one, right? If I open and if I go here to enable the quick settings widgets here to enable the interesting, interesting one, interested looking one, of course, then enable this feature, open the quick settings panel. Let me show you how the thing is looking like now. This is the one. If you are able to notice, we have two big tiles and then you can customize that by the way. You can you have the option to choose between some quick setting tile style, some quick settings photo widget is also present there. You have to choose your custom photo by the way if you want to enable that widget. But else we have similar kind of things. I mean the layout is adjusted, the padding is adjusted. So a lot of improvements are here, which is a very good sign. Boot animation options, which I've shown you just at the starting of the video. It's good. Cyberpunk is the one I've applied. You also have to choose between the Google, Rising OS, Valorant. So that's also good. And yes, you know, the feature is, is inspired from which custom room? The gestures. Yes, a lot of gestures options are present. You just need to enable the gestures and you will be able to use them. Some of these gestures like shake gestures. This is good. It's present in Alpha Droid already. Three finger gestures and three finger hold gesture. Uh, these things are already present in Rising OS from past few updates and definitely looking so good, so useful. With this new update, you also have some security related options and it's something quite amazing. It's not related to security, it's actually related to bypassing the security thing. So yes, keep this thing in your mind. This is not related to security at all. Spoofing, that's good that you have the option for spoofing, which is good, but you also have some extra options, some advanced options in spoofing. You can choose per app spoofing. You also have the option for play integrity fix, which is a very good sign. You can update a play integrity fix directly from here. And the good thing is, if you were able to notice at the bottom of this one, you have the spoofing guide. So most of you might not know how to use these spoofing features. Simply open this thing and you have every guide available there. So this is actually a very, very useful thing. These are some noticeable changes. And by the way, let me tell you one more thing that the build I am using right now, 
it is having these kind of changes they change a lot of things in this these versions in some past recent days so yes if you are getting some extra features which i am not having right now that's completely okay because i'm getting the new build very very soon and definitely will let you know whenever the official version based on version 5.0 will come maybe with android 15 or maybe with the next update we'll see that but for now this is it if you like this video don't forget to drop a like if you're new here don't forget to subscribe the channel things are so amazing regarding this one so check this out thanks for watching